Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is September 8, Tuesday of the 23rd week in ordinary time and we celebrate the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Gospel said, For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the letter to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined he also called and those he called he also justified, and those he justified he also glorified. Responsorial Psalm With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Let me sing of the Lord, he has been good to me. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Matthew. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary your wife into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel which means God is with us. There are two days important in the life of a person, would you like to guess which it is? If you answer, his birth and his death, then you would only be half right. When God created us, he created us for a reason, for a purpose. You're lucky if you discover your purpose in your lifetime, because it will give you such joy and fulfillment, to know why you were created. Mary is such a person, she listened when God called her, and she readily gave her consent to whatever God required of her. Will you be ready when God calls you? Will you readily give your consent to him? That's the end of my reflection. If you'd like a daily dose of the word of the Lord, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on such and other related uploads, like novenas and prayers. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.